Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see how to create a pipeline in Azure DevOps using classic ed editor. So in the previous tutorial, what we have done, we have created a pipeline in the previous tutorial as well. But in this tutorial, we will see how to create same pipeline using the classic editor. And that will be a much interactive uh, session because now we are going to see like how we can uh, create a pipeline in more details like previously how we used to create a pipeline using the classic editor so like this is a continuation of the previous tutorial so i recommend you please watch previous tutorial of this tutorial series so you will understand like what we are doing because in this tutorial we are not going to elaborate more the things because it, the uh, topics and all the points will be similar and just like whatever we did in the last tutorial so we will see the process only in this tutorial so let's understand like how we create the pipeline using the classic editor so let's go to the um, website and this is the azure devops website basically and this is the project which we were working in the last tutorial and when i go to this project and i go to the pipeline and we can see like uh, whatever the pipeline which we created in the last uh, tutorial and that was the pipeline and here what we did we triggered three times of that pipeline like uh, one time what we did we uh, like uh, written the wrong code and that's why it was failing and two times we were did it a, with a uh, like a correct uh, scenario of the like code that's why at two times it is passing so in this way we are going to see like the new pipeline we will generate but using the classic editor so for that again uh, click on the pipeline once we click on this pipeline we have to click on the new pipeline because we are not going to continue with the same pipeline we are going to continue with the new pipeline so let's click on this new pipeline and once we click on this new pipeline we can see like this is the new pipeline and like uh, here the um, things which we selected in the previous tutorial but here now we are going to use uh, the classic editor so at down you can see use the classic editor to create a pipeline without yaml basically so what we were doing here uh, when we were creating a project it was uh, creating a one yaml file and what is that yaml file so basically yaml file is containing the steps of doing the pipeline the process of the pipeline all the steps this yaml file was having so let's click on this use the classic editor so once we click on the classic editor what we have to do we have to select a repository and the branch which you want to select and here we have to select the source like we did in the previous tutorial also with the normal pipeline like one like a resource source we have to select so we are going to continue with the azure repo git and when after selecting the option you click on this continue once we click on the continue here configure a code so basically like here what we have to do we have to manually write the yaml file here and in the previous tutorial when we were creating the pipeline here one auto generated one yml was we were getting and like uh, if if we are not uh, uh, creating a yml file what we can do we can select the application based on that it will configure so we have to select the particular template according to your application like on which application you are working so as we have uh, created a asp.net core so here you can select that particular application so after selecting you have to click on the apply so once i click on this apply what it will do it will take us on the another page and here what happened all the things here we have to select here so like we have seen like whenever we create any pipeline so there is a uh, one agent is required to do all the pipeline operation so this is the agent job one and here we can see there are different type of the things called restore build test publish and publish artifact so publish and pu publish artifact is basically used when we release this product basically when we uh, like uh, uh, deploy this code into the production then these things comes in the picture and here basically like restore it take the uh, like take the code basically and then build it test it then publish it and publish artifacts so all these things we have seen in the previous tutorial also so these are the point basically and here we have to give the project name then what is the agent pool that we have to select it's a basically a drop down 
and here like uh, agent specification basically like what is the version so basically what we are doing we are creating a one yaml file and in the previous tutorial all these things were set up uh, in the previous tutorial so like all these things when we select from here then in the variable basically what we see like what kind of the variable you want to pass so all these things we have seen like in the previous tutorial release was the variable as a build configuration so here we can see build con configuration as a release and build um, platform and all these option and variable group if you have anything you can uh, like put it here like in the variable group and next is a trigger and what is the meaning of the trigger like if we want to um, like uh, trigger the pipeline then um, basically we use this pipeline project basically the trigger and the next is the option so there are some other option that like common things which you want to give like description build format uh, number format if you want to give there are some so, uh, so many things are there you can select according to your requirement here image url like for the branch and markdown link and like create work item on failure like if you what happened like while creating the pipeline if the pipeline fail then it automatically what will do it will aut automatically create a work item so if you want to create that you can add it here and only link to work added to the specific branch then you can add that uh, particular ticket like it will go to the particular branch then you can select it here so that is the um, like build properties and build job like build job timeout in minutes that is 60 minute and like cancel timeout is the five minute so you can change according to your requirement if you need it so that is related to the build properties and the job and next is the retention here you can select like uh, uh, basically a pipeline project settings from here you can configure and the history so here all the history will come like who changed by change type change date and comment if you want to do all these things you can do from here so after managing all these tabs basically now next if you will see save and the queue so if you will do save and queue so once i click on this save and queue basically so what it will do it will start to creating the pipeline so let's click on this save and queue so once i click on this save and queue what we have to do we have to give us save comment and what is the agent pool agent specification branch variables so all these things will will come here so any give like if you want to give anything you can give classic editor pipeline you can select from here and save and run so what it will do it will uh, create the pipeline like executing uh, of the pipeline will start from here and here it is similar like we did in the previous tutorial like where the pipeline was uh, generating so it is will be the same and if i will click on this agent job basically so all the points will be same only there are some uh, points are different like uh, this publish publish artifact and all these things so there are some extra uh, steps are there and other things will be the similar basically like post job um, final job and report start um, build status so what it will do it will basically send a report to um, like our mail so basically all these uh, job has run like uh, when we were creating previously tutorial in there also all the jobs runs and we can see there is no job failure here like it started from uh, like initializing then check out pipeline project restore build test publish publish artifact uh, post job final job and report build status so all the things is done and once we go for the report build status it means it will generate a one mail and will send mail to us and we can see like we got a one mail and if i will click here we can see like um, pipeline project asp uh, like dot uh, net core cli so it created a one mail and sent to uh, us like according to um, like what all are the changes are with that detail it has sent to us so and, and like uh, that is the way of uh, generating the pipeline using the classic add so now like if you want to change anything in any file what you can do you can go to this repo and from this repo you can click on this file and from here like you can make any changes so suppose if i will make any changes to this one like if i will uh, do it 
as a wrong so then what will happen if we will uh, generate the pipeline again it will fail and in like if there is any compilation error same will happen into the pipeline so it is similar like all these steps which we did in the previous tutorial while creating the pipeline so what you can do you can play around all these things and create the classic uh, editor pipeline in your code so basically that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you